Not only to the people of Kenya. It's a scam. AU is toothless. AU has not saved Africa from the British and the white imperialists since memorial. This AU has been used as a puppet to wrap a stamp the foreign master affairs in our countries. Today, we are being lectured by the same people, including our fellow Kenyans, to take our own son, to dump him at the same dump site, at the AU. We are not fools. We have another job we can give Honorable Raira Morotinga to do here in Kenya. Yes. Other than dumping him at AU. Yes. If you don't know his job, we will show you. Number two, at AU, as I've always said, AU is a very small job for the right Honorable Raida Morotinga to go and start continue gambling with the junior officers like Mahmoud. That's why we have said as Kenyans, we want to vote the Djibouti guy in unanimously. Yes. And the day of voting on February 2025, I want to assure all Kenyans, we will camp all the Twitter accounts of all African presidents and urge them, including our own president here, the right Honorable William Samuel Ruto, to vote in Mahmoud from Djibouti. <laughs> it will be a unanimous vote for this country. For the benefit or without any doubt in this country, Laida Morodinga has fought his own fort. I and you know very well, Laida has his own personal interests. He has always pursued, like any other Kenyan, but he has never pursued I and your interests. I want to assure you here today. The right Honorable Laida Morodinga took us into streets 2023. Our sons and daughters, our brothers and sisters, our fathers, our mothers lost their lives on the streets. He took us to bombers. We were confiscated and we were told this Kenya will move forward if we start talking. After the same demonstrations, we came back as Kenyans. We realized our destiny. The same, same Muse told us, let us do what? Reconciliation. When we had cornered, when we had cornered our enemy, who is now in the power, who has failed to implement the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. As I'm speaking here today, on Tuesday, the petition to remove the right honorable William Samuel Ruto from power is on. And the fight will not stop until we get Honorable William Samuel Ruto out of power for failing to implement the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Our people in this country are dying because of poor health facilities in our country, because of poor governance, poor administration in our nation. Our people are getting poor quality education. Today, our fellow brothers and sisters in Igarisa, Mandela, are taking their studies below trees. And we have a president who is moving all over the country, telling people lies. And we are here as Kenyans, cheating one another, telling us Ruto will be in power, T-2032. Which country is that? Not Kenya. Look for another country. For Kenya to be safe, for Kenya to be a nation, for Kenya to be a country, whereby we don't live with fear, whereby we don't fear Subarus, whereby we don't fear abductions, we must get Honorable William Samuel Ruto out of power, like yesterday. For Kenya to be a country for all of us, whereby we don't nominate people from our tribe into various government positions, we must ensure Honorable William Samuel Ruto is out of power. And that is the only way we can show those who are also coming to take over those seats that we are serious with this country. And we are ready to take Kenya to the next level. We are not here to joke with our country. We are not here to gamble with our nation. And because we have a cheap seat called the chairmanship of AU Commission that cannot help me and you. What we should talk about in this country is about our health facilities, about our education, about the clean water, affordable housing, of which we are being conned. We are being chased away from our settlement schemes in favor of affordable housing, of which we are being sold at the, at the price of 3 million. How affordable is 3 million to a suffering Kenyan who cannot afford a single million a day in this country? 
and you are being told we are together, we are moving together because of petty politics. Our country is suffering. Today, I stand here to tell you a uh, bare truth. Whoever is thinking is in government, you are just living in fiction. Come to reality. Look at your problems. Today you take your son, daughter, to hospital. Will you continue telling us we need Muchango? I don't know what. Are you real? Be real to yourself. Call yourself into a personal meeting before you come here to tell us we are with Ruto T-22. We are with Raira T-22. We are, I don't know with who. I don't care who becomes the president of this country. Even if those who have died, I don't care. So long as you implement Article 43 of the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya. We want our people to live a dignified life which can be respected in this country as per Article 28 of our Constitution. Without the fear or favor, I want to ask the people of Kenya, never fear, never have doubts. We are going to arrive at our intended destiny. Kenya must be a safe place for everybody. A place where there is no discrimination, where there is no point of suffering in our own country. Today, we are, we are being auctioned to foreign countries as slaves to go and offer slave or labor at a cheap price for the sake of paying tax in our country. The same tax is being wasted to do funny, funny trips across the country for political purposes. In this country, I want to ask the people of Kenya, wake up from the tribal cocoon, our person, our people, look at yourself. When you go to vote in the coming election, which shall be before 2027, I'm sure today as I'm speaking, go vote with your mind upright, vote with all your senses, stable, vote thinking the future of this country, the future of the coming generation, the future of our children, the future of our granddaughters and grandsons. Let us not be vote because so and so is supporting this side. Because that has haunted our country since memorial, since 1963 up to date. When Mzee Jomo Kenyatta took over this country, he held the country into hostage by incorporating people from his tribe into government who became the masters, who became cartels. The same way Moi took over, he did the same thing. And we should end that and come up with a revolutionary leadership in this country. I want to give an example. Look at a country like Burkina Faso, a very small country. A country that cannot manage a GDP, even a third of a GDP. But they don't even borrow. Today as we are speaking, Mali has no debt. As we are talking, Kenya, we have a debt which is more than our GDP. And you are here telling me, we continue supporting somebody who has been a perpetrator of impunity in this country. Somebody who is still in power is calling us left right center. We will not accept. I'm here today and I'm saying that to your heads and those who are wherever they are. It is a scam the same way our leadership in this country is a scam.